guys, we're here at the D23 Expo. And a little known fact, I love Disney, so I'm so excited to be here. Come along with us on our first Disney video. Yay! First thing we wanted to do when we entered the expo was hit up the stores. We were looking to find some exclusive D23 merchandise before it all sold out, so we headed to the D23 Marketplace, which is a giant store inside the expo where you can find merchandise from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and more. If you want to get in there without a virtual queue, you gotta head in there early. Be one of the first people there. D23 is Disney's biggest fan event all year long. The event is massive and it took up all three floors of the Anaheim Convention Center with different shops and experiences that you could explore. They had really cool displays all around the expo like this one of the Incredible Hulk. So now we're getting into some really cool stuff that they had at the expo. I feel like this is one of the main reasons that people want to come to these kinds of events is to see things like this. So these costumes are actually the real life costumes that the actors wore in the Star Wars Disney Plus shows. So right now we have costumes from the show Andor. We also have costumes from the show Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obviously that's Darth Vader, everyone knows who he is. And then that's Obi-Wan. We also have costumes from the show Boba Fett. Mandalorian is also from the show Mandalorian, but he's here on display for Boba Fett. The costumes are really cool in person. They're super detailed. And then some last costumes from Boba Fett, the last character being Boba Fett himself. You can also see him in Disneyland. He actually walks around and does meet and greets. Also, we heard that Mandalorian is coming to Disneyland with Grogu, so that'll be really cool. There were also a bunch of photo ops set up around the expo. Here I am with Vanilla P. Von Sweets and Wreck-It Ralph. All right, so we're a couple hours into our D23 Expo experience. It's about 10.30, we got here in line at like 7 a.m. So we were one of the first people's in, which was good because we got to go to the store and do all our shopping and stuff. Um, yeah, it's been pretty fun. We're walking around, looking at all the different booths and it's a little overwhelming. There's just so much. There's three levels of stuff. Like every level has something cool and exciting that you want to see. So you really like have to make a priority list of what you want to do. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Me and Joseph are just going to keep walking around, showing you guys some more cool stuff. Behind me, we got an Avatar setup. I'm excited for Avatar 2. I'm a big Disney fan, but this is like a lot already. <laughs> I am already tired and we barely scratched the surface. So right now we're in line to get some pretzels. We got to refuel. We're getting a little hangry, so we need to chill and get some food. First meal at D23 Expo. And you know, food is important to us, so let's start out with something really good. Mickey shaped pretzel! I'm not sure if it's like the same as the park, how good it is, but I'm sure it is. So we also got some nacho cheese. And we're gonna dip our nacho cheese into our pretzel. Or dip our pretzel into nacho cheese. Hold it up. I took off his ear. Got some cheese on there. I would say at the park, like Disneyland, it's really good to get them there because you can get a cream cheese filled one and that's like the best one. The jalapeno cheese, so good too. So good? So good. It's still buttery, still soft. Not stale. A very good pretzel. It's nice. They have like um, food booths around, so you don't need to leave or go anywhere. You can find food here because it is an all day event. Literally, you need all day. You need, I think you need all three days to do all of this. It's a lot. Just look at this, so much. All right, 
So this is the new Tron ride at Disney World. That's like the actual ride vehicle that you ride on and it's so cool! <laughs> this is from the movie Coco. An amazing movie. It made me cry. <laughs> he makes these benches and he puts them into the Walt Disney Museum so look for my signature out there. <laughs> Pixar booth that they had here was also really cool. The actual Pixar Animation Studios is close to home. It's in Emeryville, California. You guys already know I had to take a picture with the famous Luxo Ball wall because they're so iconic. Another reason people come to D23 is to get an all-exclusive look at new upcoming attractions. So here we have the Cosmic Rewind attraction that is in Disney World. It's actually Guardians of the Galaxy themed. Also, this one is a Baymax themed ride. It's in Tokyo Disney. Here's a model of the Quinjet, which can be found in Disneyland Paris and also in Disneyland California. This is gonna be the new ride for Splash Mountain. It's gonna be an overlay of Tiana. Toontown in California is getting a major update and here's a quick look at the new land. Here is a display of Walt Disney's actual plane, which was really awesome to see since it hasn't been displayed on the West Coast in three decades. Joseph here, as you guys can see from my shirt, I'm a huge X-Men fan. It's the main reason why I wanted to go to D23, but sadly there weren't any announcements for the MCU X-Men films. All we know is that they're not coming for a really long time. A huge announcement for Avengers Campus in California, a new attraction is coming, featuring the comic version of King Thanos. Marvel is Disney's biggest franchise right now, so it's no doubt that they also had some actual costumes on display. Here we see some costumes from Thor's new movie, Love and Thunder. I love the goats, they were so funny in that movie. We also saw some costumes from Doctor Strange's new movie, Multiverse of Madness, and a Disney Plus series, Moon Knight. Taking another food break at D23. Shout out X-Men. Nothing really X-Men in there besides all the toys, but it's okay. We got some burgers from Gray's. I got a uh, umami burger. It has mushrooms, Swiss cheese, sauce. Not the, not the greatest looking burger, but probably better than all the other food that you could find inside the expo. So cheers. Mmm. Pretty good. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too bad. But yeah, it's called Gray's here in Anaheim. Very sweet bread. It's not Hawaiian bread, but it is still sweet. Then got Swiss cheese, mushrooms, I think barbecue sauce. Not a bad blend of burger. Mm -hmm. Forgot to mention there's also a truffle in here, so it does bring up the points a little bit. Seven and a half. Out of 10. Also just really hungry. Been up since five. Okay, so this booth is for Disney 100th year, 100 years of Disney. 
2023 next year will be the year and this booth celebrates all that Disney has done, all the productions. So it's pretty cool. We can go look at it. Dang, Snow White was in 1937? That's crazy. Did you guys know Disneyland opened in 1955? She old. Scary. <laughs> The film Tron was released in 1982. This was my favorite display in the whole expo. It was a dedication to the early 2000s Disney Channel and they even had a great setup where you can reenact the famous Disney Channel commercial. My name is Gabby and you're watching Disney Channel. So it was a, a learning curve a bit. We had to kind of figure out what to do, find our priorities in the morning, and then we kind of conquered the day as it came. But yeah, it was really fun. We're a little tired, but we're on our way to the Oogie Boogie Bash. So if you want to keep watching us on our Disney trip, stay tuned for our next video at Oogie Boogie Bash in DCA.